Hi guys, fan cams next on uh, is Luke. Uh, Luke, uh, massive three points tonight, won it, much needed after two defeats on the bounce. Uh, put in a good performance as well tonight, I must say. Uh, should it have been more comfortable though? Um, if you're looking at the, like, the whole aspect of how many chances that we had during the game, then yeah. Um, yeah. First, six, first half, I felt that we were the better team uh, completely. I thought we started quite quick. You know, yeah. Chaplin had an early chance. And like we said in the preview, get an early goal. And I think their heads would have gone a lot early because they didn't seem to have much confidence in the first half. And I think no. half-time were a good time for them to come back and regroup because they weren't at, at the races. If, if you're a Birmingham fan, you're looking at it from that. But very frustrating first half. Um, so wasteful. And we keep saying it, don't we? If, yeah. if we take as chances, we're a top 10 team. And uh, I know, obviously, we're not far off at the minute, but we make it a lot easier for ourselves during games. And similar to Blackburn, our, our fearing that we'd come back to rule them chances. Yeah. And um, I, I think you sent me a message just before the second half had started saying that these will come back into it and they'll score. Mm. And um, <sighs> fucking hell, awful defending for goal. Let's talk about their first goal. I'm, you know, it's obviously positive that we've won, but there's still some... Like I've said to you, I got score prediction correct because I knew that we'd concede because I knew that we're still very frail in some areas. Mm. How Anderson and Ellix let him do that in bottom corner? Well, I've just said to I said to Steve, it's a bit of a similar goal to Adam Armstrong's that, isn't it? And um, very naive, just just clear, just take him out because mm. he weren't going nowhere. And obviously, it's audacious from him to back heel it and you know how much room Scott Hogan got you know a player of that quality at this level you can't give him that much space and that's no. their first proper shot on goal and they scored it and that just summed us up yeah. and that I was thinking fucking hell you know we're behind him we don't deserve to be because I felt we played some good football yeah. up until then yeah we but did we, we did mate we did first half not, especially yeah yeah but um, you've got to be on it at back because like I've said to you there's still frailties in his game at back Yeah. Um, so that's the only negative I'm going to say but we kept creating I thought his heads would go at 1-0 and I'm thinking, hmm, you know, we're not, we, we seem a bit flat, we're not getting into it. Mm. But getting that penalty, I think it were just reward. I, some people say it were a soft penalty, but if you're looking at that owler from Brentford, I think it evens itself out. Yeah, um, yeah. Good penalty from Woodrow, really good composure. And then I could only see one winner. I think it were a big call to make all them subs at once because I felt that Chaplin had a bit more energy and had a behaviour. I wouldn't have brought had a behaviour off because I felt he had a really good game. Really, really, really proud of him for that performance. Mm. Um, causing him issues all game. Big physical lad up front, what we've lacked. Yeah, um, just, just his touch, impact. wasn't it? It was just his touch more yeah, than anything. Yeah. Uh, just his touch, but his work rate, his yeah. physicality offers us so much. Defenders don't like big lads that are getting don't, stuck I, in. I tell you, done more than Freezer about. and Chaplin, mate, put together, yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Chaplin did okay, but I think he only woke up after the goal. Um, he seemed to have a bit more... His pressing seemed to wake up a little bit. Mm. But a big call for Ishmael to make to bring four subs on. And um, it worked because we seemed to have just that bit more energy in the end. And mm. um, we had a bit of luck for deflection for the goal. But we, we did, overall, mate, we deserved to win for the pure basis that we kept creating. I felt we played some really good football at times. And we just seem to want it a little bit more than them in second half. Um, and it shows good good character to come back, back from behind, away from home. Yeah. Especially after losing last two, as Eds could have gone like like you've said. Mm. And I were, I were fearing that as well. But to come from behind and to manage the game well for the last 10 minutes, like we did, Yeah. Um, I felt it's a good show of character and it gives us a lot of confidence. And there's a lot of positives, mate. I mean, Britain, another really solid game. Um, I felt Adam Bajo. Yeah, he could be up. He, he could be up there for man at match. If I'm being honest, I was thinking. Britain. I was thinking that during like watch along. I was thinking to myself, do you know what? Adebayo, he's yeah. done all right. He's done all right. Is that De his first start in championship. I think it might be, but well, I think he might have started in cup, like. But yeah, definitely, absolutely. definitely earned his shirt for Bournemouth on Friday. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, another thing, Luke. I would just add this week, Stephen. Uh, Craig, I'll see if you can get it. When was last time we won coming from behind? Can you remember? Do you know what I mean? That's our, that's that's how, how good it, it is at minute. Um, I can't, mate. No, I, I, we we we're certain it could have been last game of season in Blackpool at home in League One. Do you remember? 
two yeah. one. Lindsay. Lindsay and uh, were it, who else scored? I can't remember who else scored. Woodrow were it or more? Um, Possibly. But yeah, yeah, it, it goes to show, doesn't it? And you know, start yeah, that may be a bit of luck we needed tonight. You know, penalty and then that deflected shot from Styles. Uh, Sometimes that, it goes your way, mate. Like yeah. I, I was thinking, it was going to be one of those nights, one of those frustrating nights where we create but we didn't have anything. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm adamant that we need a striker coaching. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I fully agree there. We had, we had five concrete chances in first half, and I'm not talking half chances. Yeah. Um, I'm talking solid. You've got to hit the target. We had six shots in first half, and I'm looking at stats at half time, and none were on target. And yeah. a better team punishes you like Blackburn did on Saturday. Yeah. And luckily, Birmingham didn't capitalise on it as they should have done mm. by putting that game to bed, being one nil at home. Um, and I think they're low on confidence. It was a good time to play them. I knew it were a winnable game. And yeah. Going into Bournemouth on Friday, you know, I, I don't know if they've lost tonight at home to Preston. Yeah, 3 2, mate. They were 3 0 down and all. So, but they're a good team, you know, um, they're a good team and they'll be coming up here looking to get back to winning ways. And it's going to be one of his hardest games at home. But confidence will be sky high now. That were a much needed win because it just, for me, I'm always scared we're just going to get into a rut of games where we're not going to pick anything up because mm. they are young lads. And let's not forget that these were more or less the same lads that were in such a rut last season. And mm. so sometimes bad habits can creep back in and I was scared that those habits were coming back in, that we couldn't finish teams off and teams were going to punish us and not us. we weren't, weren't going to put teams to bed and, you know, over the course of the season, I was thinking how many points are we going to drop here? And I was thinking even if we got a point today, I thought it would, I, I was going to stay, stay after the game, it was going to be two points dropped. Yeah. Because due to the amount of chances that we had and the fact that we were the dominant side, but great show of character to come from behind and even to have that belief that, you know, let's not be settled for a point, let's go on and get a winner. And um, I'd like us just to, to, I'd like us to stop playing this long ball, though. That is so frustrating from defence trying to long ball and punt yeah, it. Yeah, it a, a lot of times tonight, mate. I mean, I saw it from three kicks. Three kicks were knock, on halfway, we're knocking them forward, they were going out for goal kicks, throws. Yeah. Throwings are a bit questionable, Luke. I, we, we can't seem to find anybody from throws. I think that's but that. we got that goal, didn't we, from a throw in, didn't we? We got long ball from a throw in. It dropped to it dropped, dropped to it, Styles. Yeah, it did drop. Yeah, from throw. But that's I think it was that freezer one. Times? I'm on about like ones that we even ones we don't play ones that go into box, Luke. I don't mind oh, if they yeah, get yeah, ahead yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm on about ones that we play like in centre and midfield when we just throw them down line or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It we never seem I to. Think I think it's because we're just. I a agree small with team. you, mate. It's just polishing it up. We're just polishing things off. Yeah, it's a work in progress and. Um, I don't think we've seen best of them yet. That's mm. me being honest. And I, and I keep saying to you, we need to spend some money in January mm. on a striker. That's all I think we need is a striker and a left back. Mm. Um, if we're going to go for two positions. Because Styles is doing an amazing job there. But like Steve said, I like him to play in his proper position. And we don't know if James is going back to Leicester. Mm. But a striker, a big lad. We've seen what Adabi Age opened up. But I, but I, think, he also, I, I think we need him. Woodrow, like Adabi Age up lad coming through. Yeah. Woodrow's you like your like your number nine and a big lad. Um and then you've got three and then you can pick Chaplin or Freezer for the fourth one. Um because I I just think it if we can get somebody that can convert these chances on a more consistent basis, yeah. those games against the Blackburns and you know, you, you convert them to a point or three. But great character to come back from behind. Uh, we played some great football at times, some lovely football. And <laughs> we deserve we deserve the win. We deserved the win in yeah. the end. I felt that we gritted it through. Really, really hard working performance in the end. There were a lot of things that frustrated me, but also at the same time, I'm proud of the way that they came back and rectified it. And you know, it won't be Barnsley, would it, Luke? It won't be Barnsley any other way, would it? We never make it easy, mate. Um, I'll pull him air out the way that we conceded that goal. But to, like I said, coming back from behind and showing that test of character to keep going is um, is testament to the lads, the confidence in, that they've got, and Ishmael. Fair play to him again. Made a big call to bring four subs on at once when he were at 1 1. It could have gone yeah. either way because it, at 1 1, it's evenly poised. You know, how quick can them lads integrate into a match as such? Because it was such a scrappy game at times. I'm thinking, oh, are the lads going to fit in? But Palmer did okay when he came on. He got us going forward. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great. And again, yeah. that putting Adam Bejo in again, starting him. Big call for a manager. Yeah. But he deserved it and he took his chance and. I wish more lads like I wish more lads, you know, took their opportunities like Victor's done tonight. So 
him and Britain are my man at matches tonight, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Best call there, Luke, 100% uh, agree. So...